What's up everyone, this is the final part of the I was sick but still grinded and recorded it because I had a big final table series. <laughs> this time with the purple 200 final table on natural 8, 5k up top, let's get into the action. First hand we have that open ace at suit in a small blind. Decide to put some pressure on, we are on the final table, 2 out of 9. And ace at suit seems like a good bluffing candidate, blocking that ace, having some good equity against hands like king, queen. Obviously suited as well. Few eliminations, now we have the kings, not too much has happened. For me personally, stack-wise, I remember folding a lot for the beginning of the final table. Even though I had the chips to apply pressure, I just didn't really have the spots. And I'm generally a big fan of not forcing it when you can not do it. You know, obviously try to apply pressure, but when it's just impossible, then don't do it. Easy bet call here on the flop with the kings. We're up against ace three, just goes for the bottom pair. I'd personally rather call, but it's definitely a profitable jam. And I do hold, so that's a very nice pot, puts me up as a clear chip leader ahead of these guys, so it's time to apply some pressure. 3x from the small blind, ace 4 off, obviously just a flat. I mean, we could 3-bet bluff, but I think there's just so much garbage and I can just play a part of position, which is very nice. Or well, not even that much garbage, but you know, just no need to float the pot against queen check suit or something. Just take it easy here. Obviously in the flop we have an easy call. Gonna have just pretty much a range seabed on that flop. Alright, that's at least how people play it. Now on the king, we chop it with all aces. And he goes for the double barrel. I mean, I'm obviously still calling. Um, he can just have an ace or, you know, just go, f go for it with like 9 7 of hearts. It's a spot where people don't bluff that often, so it's kind of a, it's a bit dirty. I'm not super excited. Um, if I see a river jam, what to do, but. Gladly he checks, I take the check back, and he went for it with King Jack. Very, very odd turn bearer. Just don't do that. Now with all the short stacks to on the button and the big uh, and under the gun, King 3 suited is a great open jam, apply max pressure. He tanked for a long time, then called Ace and suited. Um, obviously still great equity here, and so not a bad spot, especially on that flop. I was letting that all in hard because boom. First of all, there it is, but second of all, now I just have all the room, all the chips, and feeling great. Um, we just put in the big hands, you know, obviously in between there were a lot of raising, some open jamming by me just to put the pressure on for like 20 bigs. But um, I don't know, I don't always want to implement all of these videos into the highlight because just me opening and then getting a fold and, you know, it just makes for a long, not so entertaining highlight. Ace Knight fine with the clubs, coming in with a small C bet seems pretty good here. I have all the stronger Ace X that he doesn't have. And he elects to... I think there was a race or something in this hand. Nope, he calls. Oh, he donks the turn, I think. Mm-hmm. Pretty weird spot. I mean, I have to check some checks with the check of clubs. So I'm gonna call one with my flush draw, but I don't like it too much. I mean, what is he bluffing with, like, king 10 with the king of clubs or so? I didn't see that many on the bluffs on the river and liked it to fold, but certainly didn't enjoy it. Now there's a 3x in the small blind, pocket 10s, coming in with a 3-bet, popping it up to 70k here. Obviously ready to play for stacks. He makes the call, pretty good flop. Time to go for the bet. And he calls. Improved to a set on the turn. He figured that... Um, he wouldn't really raise 6 7 suited and stuff, so there's not that many draws I want to protect against. And I'm gonna have a lot of garbage, it's not very good. So, check the turn, keep his range a little bit wider if he has some ASX. And then he goes to the half pot river bed. Now it's my turn to go all in. And hopefully, I uh, just get the call. Nope, he lets it go. But massive chip lead for me, nice pot. You see my mouse running around celebrating. And I was just ready to apply max ICM pressure on two short stacks and then this happened and it's like, oh, I just want to apply pressure and, well, chop, 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 nope, <laughs> no chop. Would have been nice, I mean, I just want to um, apply max pressure, as I said. He limped for the first time, I go for the aggressive raise with the deuce for offsuit. Just something I like to do, which I wouldn't recommend to too many people, but... Sometimes when people switch over from a raising to a limping red strategy, um, I just want to apply a little bit of pressure. Come in with the seabed. 
go for the double barrel. Um, small sizing when the flush completes makes sense. Because again, and reverse the fourth heart. At this point, if there wasn't a fourth heart, I would have bluffed jammed on this one. I will just check and try to show down against the hand, like check 10, king jack. But here's a queen nine, I lose. Um, sucks that I reverse the heart. We would have definitely pushed that hand out. Here, this is. A 3 back king 5 offsuit. I mean, sure, can do that. Go for a little c bet. And I've seen him, like, he is somebody that just likes to float a little bit wide, I felt. So, I went for the double barrel here. I have to 5 of spades, which sucks a little bit because I blocked, like, king 5 of spades here, or, like, 5 7 of spades. Um, which is not important, but just something that I didn't love. And on the river I went for it. This is just a mad bluff, not that much fold equity on the river, but I thought that I can still get folds and people fold a bit too much given the pollots they have here on the river. I obviously get there with check X a bunch and you still just miss flush draws and stuff, so very tough call to make with a bunch of hands, even though you feel like man the price is insane, but I just felt like people would fold a bunch and went for it. It's pretty gangster shit. Uh some a bit out of line with bluffing I have to say, but in this case he fucking folded and I loved it. <laughs> but uh, I'm still like in hindsight a bit on the fence with this one. Alright, now we're three betting ace king. Obviously a bit of three betting, barrel uh, bluffing, preflop and battling there. So that led up to this moment where he just decided to four bet rip it now against my continuous three bet. He's crushed. Just need to fade the three to take the tournament down. Flop's not that great. Great bunch of chop outs and other outs for him. Like the three or deuce and he hits it right there and... Sadly, he's back in the chippy now. 7-10 offsuit I open. Big blend with the call. Half top pair. Decide to do, go for the seabed. I would also sometimes check this hand on the flop. Like, kind of mixing it up there. I'm not a perfect heads up player, obviously. It doesn't happen that often in MTTs, but... So I just make up my own strategy and do things that make sense. Against the check race, it's an easy call. We got top pair. And the back to flush, flush draw, which is nice. He bets again on the turn. Still an easy call. Still a bunch of draws out there. And the river is the four of spades. He rips it in. I tanked a little bit. And then elected to... I was thinking about it. Like he has hands like queen nine with the queen of hearts. He has hands like four six for deuce that he might bluff. Seven for jack nine with the heart. Compared to all the flush draws that he actually raises on the flop. I figured I would hero call him off here. And he had the eight six with the six of hearts. That was a massive hero call, I celebrated quite hard. <laughs> that was really, really nice. And yeah, the team was short. I opened Jam the King at offsuit here for 50 blinds. Run into 10s. Not the best of spots. Got the back to flush draw now. But the King pretty much seeds the deal if you fade the 10. And there it is. Take the tournament down. 4,739 bucks and 85 cents. Beautiful win. Felt really, really good again. As I said, grinding while sick and then just sun running it is pretty, pretty sweet. I think we made some good plays, some out of line bluffs, and I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. From now on, all of the videos will be normal highlights again. I'm healthy and I'm able to stream normally. So thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe. See you in the next video. Peace.